Cheers. Hi, Kelsey. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Excellent. Are you ready to talk about the Con 40? I am. Good. So, this morning we are going to be joining you to talk about the Pilot Con 40 converter on mm -hmm. this edition of Right Now. So, Kelsey, we used to have the Con 50. We did. Now we have the Con right 40. Mm -hmm. And which is which there? This is the Con 50. This is the Con 40. So this is the old one. This is the newer version. And if you have a Con 40 and have had, at one time, a Con 50, you might know that they don't fill quite as effectively. So, this is what we have for now. And it might not be as ideal as we want it to be, but Kelsey and I have some tips for you on to how to get a better fill using your Con 40. And we're going to go through a few of those today. Yes. Yeah, we wanted to talk about it. We have customers who will reach out sometimes who think there might be something wrong with their converter because they're not getting a full fill. There's nothing wrong with it. We just have to fill it at, you know, some different strategies. We have to be more so, intentional yeah. about this one. So we've got a couple different methods that you can use. Um, you want to talk about this guy? Sure. So this is a syringe. Uh, we sell these on our site. They are a blunt tip syringe. Um, I actually fill all of my converters with a syringe. Do you it's, really? It's less messy. Every and converter. I get a full fill every time, every single time. I oh. love syringes. Uh, so if you've never used one, I would check it out, even if you don't have this converter. I did not know that. Um, so all you're going to do is make sure your piston all the way back. You're going to fill your syringe. I was not expecting there to be anything in this besides water. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Just gonna fill it up. There you go. And then you would then just take your pen, keep this this way up, put it in your pen, and you got a full fill. You're good to go. And another thing you might not think is normal, but totally is, are the random little metal bits yes. in here. So this converter has four um, metal agitators in it. They'll, they'll shake around. Mm -hmm. If you hear something rattle around, rattling around in your pen, that's totally normal. That's what they're there for. So yeah, you can go ahead and eject that. Yep. Um, that is a quick and easy way. It does involve you taking the converter out of your pen and filling it separately, but it's a very easy, effective, and affordable way to get a full fill. And if you've got a pilot vanishing point, this is probably going to be your preferred method, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because this isn't going to uh, the unit that's in here isn't going to fit into some of the other filling uh, solutions that we have for you today. So for a pilot vanishing point. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. I, I highly recommend a syringe, yeah. yeah. And we also have um, the pipettes. Yes. The uh, disposable pipettes on our site as well. If you didn't want to uh, bother cleaning and refilling a mm -hmm. syringe, the disposable pipettes, we sell those. You can use them once and throw them away if you want. They're, they're great for travel. That's what I recommend them for a lot of the time. Great idea. So in addition to that, we have uh, this Peniter snorkel filler. And this is a bit different. And this in itself is not an ideal solution. You do run into some of the same challenges with this as you do filling the Con 40 on its own. But there is another kind of a little bit more of a high maintenance technique that I can talk to you about in a second that might help. So what I'm gonna do is plug this right up into the Con 40 and it creates a nice seal there and gives you some distance in where you're filling. You could just stick this right into the ink if you wanted to, but this, for demonstration purposes, I think works out a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill using the snorkel filler. And as you see, not a whole lot there. So I'm gonna eject that and try again. A Little bit more, still not ideal. This is about average. This is probably what you'd expect with the uh, Con 40 under normal filling methods. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip this up, tap on it a few times, and get the air um, uh, kind of down here at the bottom. Now we want this bubble right here to be up, and it's not doing it. Come on, go up there, bubble. Uh, there we go. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so now what I'll do is I could either plunge this right back down in there, or I could reinsert this. I know this seems like a lot of work for something that's not super important, but, um, well, hold on now, sorry. So we bring this right up to the top again. So now we've got more empty space. So we're just gonna give this another shot. And all right, that's what I was trying to demonstrate. Now we've got a full fill. So the concept you can see in execution, not ideal, but it can be done that way if you so wish. And this can be done with any um, uh, piston pen or vacuum filler as well, just to remove, you're removing that extra air and then allowing extra, pay, extra space for ink to come in. So. Uh, moving on, probably the most effective way to get a full fill on the Con 40, these guys. Pen filler. 
Yep. So we've got them made by Paniter and Visconti, and both of them work equally effective. If that's a word, equally, equally as effective, equally. Yeah. Effectively. Equally effectively. No. Equally effective. They both. Yes. They both work equally effective. They both work great. There they both go. work great. <laughs> so I'm gonna plug in a Con40 to my Pilot Custom 912, and there you see it happening there. So the cool thing about these fillers is that they have a, um, what do you call this? Like a uh, uh, gasket? Yeah. A, 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 a tapered gasket. So you mm -hmm. can fit a wide variety of pens. Uh, still can't fit the unit for this guy though. This guy's too skinny to go in here. So it tapers in. So at some point you're going to meet resistance because there's a, it's a rubber. Mm -hmm. And once you get it in there, you just kind of like wiggle it in there until you meet resistance and it's there, it's not going anywhere. So, obviously, first off, we have to fill this thing. Both the Visconti and the Paniter fillers come with a syringe for you to fill your, uh, fill your filler. And they have a great ink capacity. Yeah, huge. And you can plug this up, travel with it, go over it where you want. It's not going to, uh, it's not gonna make a mess on you. Not like that previous method I just showed. So, plug this guy, am I good, Andy? Yep. Okay, plug this guy up here. And then, the reason this is so effective is that you invert it. So now it's upside down. The feed is 100% saturated with ink at this point, or water in our case. And then when you fill it, you want to do it twice. And that's gonna be true of most yeah. converters. Fill it. Tip it back upside down. Obviously, you don't want to unplug it while it's upside down. You're going to have a bad time. And then, bada bing, bada boom, you'll want to dab this on a uh, cloth. But you've got a total fill. There's not one little bit of air. As you can see, if I tip it down, air should be rising up to the top, an air bubble, but there's not even a bubble there. So, this one is a little bit more pricey than the Paniter, but if you want to just always have a method of getting 100% full fill on any converter, these are the best ways to do it. I know that's a lot, but it's helpful, right? Oh, for sure. I, mm -hmm. I, it's helped me a whole lot. I use these things all the time. It's worth it. Any other thoughts you want to add? I think that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, like we said, it's a great converter. You know, you can get a, a good ink capacity with it. You just got to use a little more effort to get it full. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully this was helpful to you. It's a very, very common, very popular converter. It comes standard on many of Pilot's pens. So odds are, if you've ever owned a Pilot in the last couple of years, you've experienced something similar to this. So if you have any other filling tips, leave them in the comments. We'd love to hear them. Yeah, let them. us know. We work with customers every day on this, so it would help us too. To so let us know your struggles. Let us know what kind of hacks you've worked out. And uh, don't be hesitant to buy them because there's always a solution. Yes. Most of these come from customers anyway. So you might be one of them. Let us know. And um, I guess they should write on at this point, right? Yes, write on.